Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Rose Crew, welcome back to an episode of Formula 1 2020, my team career. Uh, so I'm back over here for the, uh, for the ninth round of the season, the Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, a track which I think will suit us uh, a lot better than the, than the last couple tracks. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we do. So here we are for our first flying lap in qualifying. We get a quite bad exit out of the last corner, so that's gonna kind of slow us down uh, for this like first straight over here. Uh, last time, last time out in Baku, of course it didn't go too well. I finished uh, 16th when I thought I could have actually finished in the top 10, but I just made a stupid mistake during the race. Uh, I had to pit for a new front wing. I'm pretty sure it was. And yeah, that's what kind of cost us the race, the points. But this time, uh, Canada, the Canadian Grand Prix, uh, another track that I think will suit us, kind of like ba Baku, because they're kind of similar to be honest. Uh, long straights, a couple corners, not too many though, like Monaco and uh, Zandvoort and other circuits like that, so it doesn't slow us down too much because our like, lack of aero doesn't slow us down too much in the corners. And. Uh, well, the straights aren't like too long, so we don't lose too much time over there. We actually kind of gain time, you could say. Uh, so DRS open over here for our first lap. Now I went for a 6-6 uh, six, six front wing kind of setup. Actually, I'm pretty sure I changed it for the race, or for the second flying lap, I'm pretty sure. So this one's actually 5-6. But I actually wanted more time to kind of like steer, so I went for 6-6. Six, six. So across the line, MP13. When we back to the garage, it's a P16, uh, so quite bad, uh, but we've still got a couple laps to try and uh, perfect that. Uh, so across the line to start our second flying lap over here. Let's see how well we do this time. Already a tenth up after the first uh, two corners over here. We kind of actually lose time on the exit, which is not ideal. Uh, but well, I, I want to maybe finish, uh, start at the top, uh, top 12 maybe, somewhere in there would be, would be perfect. Would definitely help us uh, for the race. As I go across the grass over there, I had to, I had to keep the throttle in, not to spin out. Uh, so that actually costs about, uh, uh, I'm not really sure, f about a tenth or something it was. Uh, so, yeah, quite some time, not too much, but... Uh, well, this is quite a short circuit over here, so every 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 like corner counts as much as possible. Uh, so onto this long straight over here. Let's see how much time we actually gain. We we are gaining from the exit. Uh, we're up by a tenth. Let's see how much it is after these last two corners over here. There you go. Look at that. That's what we wanted. Six tenths up. What will it be? It will be seven tenths up in the end. And that gives us a P9 for the start. And when we get back, it's a P10. With four minutes left, we've got one more. Uh, well, time for one more lap over here. So that's what we're going to do over here. So across the line, start lap number three. Uh, we're already kind of losing time. But there you go, we kind of get a good exit. Nope, uh, we're still in the red. Well, we've still got a whole lap ahead of us, so hopefully we can gain time in the second sector. I'm pretty sure that's where we lose like the most amount of time and where we could improve the most. So let's see how we can, how how, how much we can improve by. Uh, so we get a bad exit over there, lose about two tenths, uh, but we're already up by a tenth from our like second lap. Uh, there you go. I'm pretty sure that's no. I actually thought that's where we would uh, gain a lot more time, but does it look like it so there you go on to this last long straight and we are actually losing time we've got a worse exit than last time which is yeah, not ideal because this is where you this way you gain and lose like the most amount of time from the exit over there but let's see how we do past the last two corners over there uh, two tenths up there you go three tenths up will it be even four tenths up yes it will just about and across the line in a P5, and when, and when uh, it's actually over, it's a P7, so not not bad at all. 
the grid. Hamilton, uh, so I said I wanted to be in the top Bottas. 12. And we get a P7, which is really good. Just under a second uh, from uh, Hamilton's time, which is really nice. We actually split uh, the racing point over here and the Red Bull uh, of I'm pretty sure that was Albon over there. Uh, Jordan King down in 22nd place, which is not good for him. Hello and welcome to the Ile Notre Dame once again for what promises to be another incredible Canadian Grand Prix and a fiercely competitive circuit where pole position can often be decided by less than a tenth of a second. It's one of the fastest races of the season here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around 60% of this 2.7 mile circuit taken at full throttle. There are 14 corners to navigate, the very last of which has its very own infamous history. It could be the cause of a safety car today. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today from the midfield teams? Or trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run. I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Lance Stroll, Red, Albon, Norris, Giovinazzi, and Esteban Ocon, Hamilton, Ricardo, Carlos Sainz, and Perez, Magnussen, Grosjean, Daniel Kvyat, and Kimi Raikkonen, Russell, Latifi, King, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Okay, so that's that. We're going to go for the uh, first strategy. I'm pretty sure we're going to just put uh, just a bit more fuel in the car. And here's the formation lap. So, as you saw over there, we actually got promoted up to P6 uh, because of Hamilton's 10 grid play, uh, 10, 10 plays grid penalty even. Yeah, can't talk. Uh, so P6, uh, re really, really good. Our best qualifying so far this season. Uh, beat it by one place. Uh, probably not too good. I could have probably preferred P7 because it's from from like it gets the inside corner for, for the first uh, the inside corner the inside line into the first corner, uh, which would give us uh, more oh, more more of a chance to overtake more cars. Well, but I'll give it a shot from here. Uh, everyone's lining up. <laughs> it feels like uh, quite some time when you're this far up the grid when it's p20 uh, when i got like p22 all the way back there you you'd slide up for like a couple seconds and the lights are already out so there you go rich mix on and it's and it slacks out and away we go overtake mode straight or on where we get a decent start not the best but i kind of go around the outside of stroll so i get the inside line make a slight contact over there we're up to p5 over here can I make it stick? It does look like I can. It's a P5 straight away, so that's really good. Uh, sadly, I couldn't overtake anyone else. And then these slower cars, you want to overtake as many people as like pos as fast as possible into the first corner because, yeah, as you're going to see over here, Verstappen and Leclerc are just going to pull away because my car is just not as fast as theirs. And it's easier to defend uh, than to attack in the slower car, so... Yeah, to prefer actually staying like in front of them, like if I could have been able to get past the majesty of there, they're already, uh, Leclerc's already two seconds away from me, and Verstappen is a second and a half, so, yeah. So it could be a lot worse, there's a, some yellow flags over there, must be some contact between uh, a couple cars, the stroll is kind of closing it up on me, uh, but... He's not too too close because there's no DRS, of course. That opens up on lap three, uh, so we were able to kind of defend from him and on to lap two over here. 
Uh, so a little bit ways, uh, well, closer to the end of the lap over here. Uh, Stroll actually overtakes me and I actually miss my braking point over there, go wide. And he actually overtakes me, so I don't want that because he has a faster car than me. So I want to stay in front of him. Uh, so I stay in his slipstream, overtake on. And I'm going to try and overtake him and actually not too hard. I break way later than him, actually kind of cut the track over there, but cut the corner over there, but not too bad. I don't get a penalty or anything for it. So now on to lap four over here. Lewis Hamilton is actually out of the session and a virtual safety car is out. Uh, that's maybe because of his penalty. He must have been pushing to try and gain the places back, uh, but that cost him the race. So uh, there you go. It lasted about a full lap just under. Uh, we didn't really gain any time on the snap, and of course, because it's a virtual safety car. You can actually see him over there on the like side, crashed into the wall over there. So he must have uh, crashed into someone or spun out or something, uh, trying to gain the places back. Because, yeah, he did start from P11, so he wants to keep his championship hopes alive. <laughs> but he is in Mercedes, so either him or Bottas are going to win. On to lap 4 over here, you know, on to lap 7. Uh, Verstappen pits, so that gets us into P4. Uh, so over here on lap 8, a uh, whole lap later, I am actually pitting over here for the first time for another set of softs, so let's see how long that takes us. There you go, 2.2 second uh, stop, really, really quick. And there you go, yeah, so only one stop left. And we come out, where are we going to come out? It looks like P17, we're fighting wheel to wheel with Russell over here. For the position, are we going to be able to take it around the outside over here? And there you go, I make it stick, P16. So when you, like, leave the pits, uh, you need to overtake as fast as possible over there. We make a lunge on Latifi take P15 because you've got fresher tyres you don't want to waste like any time uh, because yeah it's just gonna waste time and it might cost you a position or two uh, on to lap 10 over there uh, we get up to P13 because uh, I'm pretty sure it was Carlos Sainz and the Red Bull uh, pitted on to lap 10 uh, Ricardo and Norris in the pits so that actually gets us up to P11 on lap 11 which is nice we're catching Verstappen over here so it would be really good if I was to overtake him because he's kind of being held up by Grosjean over there. So I'm going to give it a shot into this corner over there. Really late on the brakes, just about make it pass without making contact with Grosjean. So that's actually going to get us into a virtual P4, I'm pretty sure. Which is good because, uh, well, if Verstappen would have been out in like uh, clean air, he would have probably just pulled away like 10 10 seconds maybe to the next pit stop which is not good but he got like held up by Grosjean over there and there you go we took the position away from him so that's a uh, P9 for now uh, just sitting re behind Grosjean actually make a move on him into this corner over here as I said you've got fresh tyres you need to make those moves uh, when they are available as you can see over here lap 12 uh, get up to P7 and then uh, loads of people pit, so that actually gets us that P4 that I was talking about. There you go. And we get our best lap over there, I'm pretty sure. I oh, know, best uh, third sector uh, actually was uh, not that good of a lap because of uh, we were being held back by traffic. Uh, lap 18 over here. A pit window opens for our last uh, set of tyres that we're going to box into. The mediums. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, breaking over there. It <laughs> wouldn't really happen in real life, would it? But the game, well, anything's possible, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to box onto the mediums over here for the remainder of the race. And there you go, that's a, that's a really, really fast stop. 1.9 seconds, that's well, nearly as fast as like the world record pit stop, which I'm pretty sure is a 1.88 uh, or something like that by the Red Bull team last year. Uh, but we get up on, uh, well, in P12. Which is good, we only need uh, to overtake a couple cars. And uh, cars are still going to box, so we are going to still be in that P4. Uh, hopefully, if we don't lose too much time behind cars over here. 
and I would be hiding Kvyat over here. As you know, he took me out in the uh, Vietnam Grand Prix, so I'm not going to hold back on him. Uh, overtake mode on, DRS on. I'm not going to hold back over here, I'm going to overtake him as fast as possible. <laughs> Even if it may uh, result in some contact, as it does over there, you see him spin out on the map, yellow flags. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess uh, he's still in this race, which is well more than he can say than what I could in the Vietnam Grand Prix, which yeah, resulted in me DNFing, which was bad, because we actually had a chance at some points over there. So up to P5 over here on lap 22, which is really nice. We get our best uh, best lap time over there for now. And Perez over here actually boxes on lap 24, going on to lap 25. So that puts us into that P4 posi position yet again. Uh, where we are going to end up, hopefully, if we don't. Uh, well, we need to stay ahead of Albon, who is five seconds ahead uh, behind me. Uh, so I just need to... Hold on to this P4 because that's going to be some really, really nice points. Uh, points we have, which we haven't had since uh, China, I'm pretty sure it was. So onto the final lap over here, I'm just going to let it roll. As you see, the uh, gap to Albon is just over a second. You can see him on the map just behind me, so I need to really push on this final lap. So just under a second, he's going to get DRS over here, I'm pretty sure. Which is not ideal, because we need to stay ahead of him if we want this P4, because that's going to be our best uh, best finish uh, by half, because uh, I'm pretty sure it was the... not really sure what Grand Prix it was, but we finished P8, that's our best so far. And a P4 would be excellent, just one off the podium. Uh, sadly, Leclerc or like Vettel did a DNF or Bottas... So we're not on the podium just yet, but maybe we get lucky some other race, but go, we go wheel to wheel over there, actually make some contact, he gets the DRS, I get uh, the overtake mode on, it's going to be on all this time, I really want this P4 over here, really late on the brakes over there, and it's going to be a P4, I think we've held off Albon well enough, and yep it's going to be a P4, so across the line over there, excellent race. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. They take the checkered flag then here in Canada in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So there you go, a P4 finish, our best so far. Uh, we gained two points, uh, two points, two positions in that race, which is just excellent. We need to keep that momentum going. Our next race is actually the French Grand Prix, which is kind of a circuit similar to this. You could say long straights, uh, kind of medium speed corners, which I'm pretty sure our car is better at than like the slow speed ones. So hopefully we can get some more points in that race, which would be really good. Uh, so, yeah, with Verstappen, actually, I don't know what happened to him. I think his front wing, uh, front wing broke or something because he's down at P12. Jordan King in P17. And let's look at the standings over here. We go up uh, quite a couple of positions over there. We get 17 points now. That is excellent. We split the McLarens in half. Well, in half, we split them. Uh, Lando and Sainz over there. We're in uh, 12th place. I actually head up uh, one place in the constructor standings, which is just really nice. Uh, so yeah, French Grand Prix next should go maybe as well as this, maybe a podium. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.